Hello fellow cultivators, this video will be about a weird build in the game of uh, Tale of Immortal, but it that actually works. And this build is called, let's, say, let's call it Demon Blade Spear, in that way. And let's start with a fight, like I am a Demon Spear and against the Spear Immortal, head to head. Alright, and uh, I, will, I will see you once we finish this fight. And Spoilers alert, it will be very fast. Alright, that's back. As I told you, it's very fast. And this build is actually very interesting. So, the whole idea of this build is first of all it's based on standard spear build and to get that one of the most important things is the reborn bird archember. This is the key which allows you to have infinite number of charges or special skills and once you switch on the laser power and then during this time you can use the blade ultimate which lets you yourself transform into a blade demon and during this time, you are basically have infinite zero city special skills, and what's better about this part is you don't care how many enemies are there. The standard zero city uh, builds, you need it only works when there's only one enemy around, but it, it won't work when you have more than one enemy, and that is the problem. But this build, you don't really care. So that's the best part about this build. So how does it work? Let's start explaining. So, to let's first starting from like how in general spear build the after reborn works. So, the whole idea is spear uh, special skills have this mechanism called char recharging. So instead of you know uh, you use one special skill and then you wait a few seconds for the cooldown to finish, then you use it again. Spear. Uh, special skills. There are three of them. Basically, all of them called Dragon Rising. They just cause different type of Dragon Rising. They have this recharging mechanism. So while while your cooldown is works, it can automatically recover, and you will see your there are like three general recharging points you can use, and you can also put on a spear. Is it one? Yes. A spear mastery, which look at 11 sub skill, maximum recharging point plus three. So, which means you are starting the battle with six recharging points, and therefore you can keep on. You can always use six motion skills immediately once you uh, enter the battle. And to be honest, let's just look into the martial skill arena. So, once you enter this, this is your recharging point, and you can see it's six. Which means you can immediately recharge six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now you can see that sometimes I still have three left, and this is because you can have this sub skill. So the last one, twelfth one, if skill is cut when there's only one enemy, you have thirty-six percent chance recovery recharging. So it does allow you to have more recharging. But however, six itself is very important, and this is because. The reborn bird. So, arcane bird basically is the only answer for any kind of spear build, in my opinion. Because look at what does it do? The nether power or ethereal power is called that. Every after you use special skill ten times, you can use the ethereal power, and then you transform into this mode that you can see the purple balls rolling around me. Those are so called ten blades. It does some damage, okay, but more important part is not about this, but it's more like the ethereal power bonus part. So look into this. First of all, you can reduce the times of special skills you need to unlock this power. So starting from 10, and you can minus 2, become 8 when you just reach reborn, and uh, when you Pro progress from reborn early and to middle to late, you got a chance to strengthen your nether power. So the final stage should be minus four. Therefore, ten minus four becomes six. And remember, we can already use 
our special skill six times right from the beginning of the battle. And this should allow you to immediately switch on your Eternal Power. And then you enter this mode. Now look at the next power bonus. After the power is used, once you deal critic damage, there's a 50% chance to restore one recharging point for every recharging skill for 12 seconds. So basically, in the 12 seconds time, as long as you deal any crit damage, you recover the recharging points. And essentially, if you are doing some kind of crit, especially when you have Murderous Rise, then you are basically did you have infinite recharging points, so you can cast your uh, special skills all the time. And of course, you can add another uh, thing that makes the duration a bit longer. And this is basically the key point where when you have infinite number of special skills for any spear build, you don't even need to use a blade ultimate. That's, I mean, for a standard spear build, spear build without a blade ultimate, you can look in, refer to my other video, which is a spear build against the certified swine in Shuyo region, even though it's without any comments, but you can see that's how exactly it works. Basically, you have to charge in more time, all right? And now, come to the second point. Why do we need a, a blade out? So while you always have this infinite special skills in the 12 seconds, you are charging around and that's sort of wasting some time because it takes a lot, some, a bit of time for the animation to go. And it's not super effective. All right. And now the fun fact about a blade ultimate this is an ultimate which is very interesting. Basically, it allows you to transform into a blade demon and it replaces your martial skill and special skill. Now, even though it replaces it, it does not change the special effects that your martial and special skills carries on. Therefore, your infinite recharging points carries on while in a, you are in this blade demon mode, which essentially means you have zero CD special skills and because in this mode look at the special skill basically it changes into demonic cleave which basically 900 region you are dealing 28,000 blade damage to every single enemy and that's really huge region and also switch on this ultimate allows you to increase your damage boost 50% from the base skill and another 50% from the sub skill also have damage reduction 30% but that's okay and look, if you see, the this thing will last 10 seconds, but then there, are, there should be a duration plus 2 seconds. So it's 12 seconds again. And just remember that our reborn bird is also 12 seconds. So what you should do is you get into battle, start dragon riding 6 times, switch on the re, uh, reborn board, the bird, nature power, switch on the ultimate, and then press down your right mouse button and keep on enjoying your 12 seconds of Superman time. Now, just remember that do not mix up the, t the time in the order. If you first switch on the ultimate, you cannot switch on your laser power anymore because your martial skill has been replaced. And, and another thing about this ultimate is because they have replaced your martial skill and the, the special skill, all those martial skill specification and everything re cooldown reduction from your mastery doesn't work anymore. So you are attacking quite slowly. The only way to reach their city is actually using the, the spear. This whole idea of recharging point. And the main advantage of this build is, of course, you have zero city special skill 12 for 12 seconds, no matter how many enemies were there on the ground. And it has, does have quite good damage, and of course, to make it better, you need to make use of the 12 seconds infinite time. What do you need? Tiger Spirit, Dragon Soul. These are quite good, because it deals some damage while your uh, special skills doing damage. And also, another great thing about this is you can use Lightning Burst. Basically allows you to summon this Lightning Ring. I think I have mentioned this in my in general, zero city builds guides, but yeah, so you can still use lightning burst and tiger, tiger slash dragon. Let's call it that way. And notice that every time your lightning burst hit the enemy, it will actually trigger this tiger dragon as well. 
so it does increase a lot of damage and everything else so i do have blood energy three and blood power of course when you have using blood energy you need to use blood power and this is first because your uh, special skills actually cost a lot of energy when you have zero cd even though i don't need blood energy three to reach zero city in this case but it costs too much energy and uh, if i don't have this thing i will soon be out of mana and instead i will just take the blood energy and blood uh, blood uh, blood power as well and also this does reduce your in general recharging time of your this uh, skills and this is important but why it's important i will just talk a bit later after i finish the this part and what else is important consider nirvana great in general and very very important murderous rise and this is maybe not super important when you're against most of the enemies because in general if you have a good crit menu and uh, jiu chen as a spirit so sorry crit menu basically mastery increase your crit so my crit is 12,000 and also jiu chen is uh, artifact, uh, artifact spirit who basically allows you to yeah, increase your crit rate every time you recover HP. And remember, you, you are using HP all the time with blood uh, energy and you are recovering from blood power. So this basically increases your crit rate and it's quite good. So this is a way to guarantee to guarantee some kind of... Um, where is it? To crit. Because you need crit to recover your recharging point. But against enemies like immortals who have really really high um, crit resistance you would need more and this is when you actually need this murderous rise because this will guarantee your five seconds or the crit and if the five second trigger were during the 12 second time and then you just guaranteed have all kind of crit <laughs> and you are guaranteed with zero city special skill and of course since you have zero city Jiao Long So is always good to boost up your damage. So that's basically how this thing works. Now, of course, now the next important question: What about the cooldown time? When? What about the cooldown when I'm finished my laser power and finished my uh, ultimate? So you need to keep an eye on your status. The best thing, the best thing to do is you are looking using the ultimate and you have your uh, time. Right? Let me just show this in the arena, in the martial arts arena. You should do is charge, 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 charge. All right. Click this, click this, and I'm using this, right? There's it. But the point is, look at this. This is the time of your thing. Once it's finished, you should stop using it. And because I didn't do this properly, you can see that. My recharging point is only one, and this is the thing that you are supposed to avoid. Basically, when you are doing it correctly, you are keep, keep, keep on critting, you should be around 5 or 6 all the time. And once you finish this time, you should be still around 5 or 6. And then you have to wait for 8 seconds at least, because this is the time you need to let your internal CD of your nether tower to finish. Unfortunately, the game doesn't really tell you when does this city finish. But after the 8 seconds, hopefully you already have another 6 charges, then you can just use another round. And fun fact is, you see that I have your 6 times, I can't use this. This is, I think, a bug, because somehow you need to use 7 times. But now I am about to, I can use my Arcane Bird and this circle again. Okay. And this is how it works. You, you are have 12 seconds of Superman and then you wait for 8 seconds. And then you charge 6 times again and enter the, another round. And the reason for this is... So in, at the very beginning of the Reborn update, when people figured out how to use the Reborn Bird more effic efficiently. So before that, there is no internal 20 seconds to city. So basically you just need to use 6 times. You can use it. And then you use six time again, you immediately can use it again. But they so there are a lot of different reborn birds which allows you to have this kind of play. 
and the developer team realized that that become too much overpower, so they add in this 20 seconds cooldown for every single new bomber. Therefore, now after 12 seconds, you need to wait for 8 seconds, because only till then this sixth time of special skill for you to trigger the laser power will start count after the cooldown is finished. Just remember that. It maybe takes a few tries for you to sort of get familiar with this cycle. But trust me, it does work. So, I think that's basically how this build works. And, and I forgot to mention two things. One thing is you need combat expertise weapon to use the out, of course. And second is you can use this build with uh, the dragon, uh, dragon stacked 5 destinies. You just need maybe a blood power and one level of blood energy to cast the skill when you are out of mana. And uh, maybe Murder's Rite is still very important, so that 5 plus 3 is equal to 8, so you can still have another um, combat expertise, of course. Then 9 Destiny, so it's still workable with the Dragon Sect. Yeah, just to want to mention about that. One thing about it, it's like, you, in general, probably you uh, want to use a, a spear, martial skill, which applies destruction. And this is because in uh, Spear Secret Menu, what you have this thing that's look at the seventh one, yeah. You have six stack destruction, recharging speed increase thirty percent. So this really helps you to recharging even faster, especially during the eight seconds time. You want you to recharge six points if you are unlucky enough to use up all your points before. So this does help. Another different type of you can works as well with, for example, a blade view, and because this allows you to have HP recovery. And fun fact, you can see the last one, this skill have 20% chance of strike twice, right? And also, for the present build, there is a chance to to shoot out uh, a blade. And those things actually work while you are in the ultimate time as well. So you sometimes can actually see a rotating blade while you are using this one. And similarly, if you're against the three immortals, you probably can throw in a, a fifth one with bone fractures to just to have, have more stun and control of the enemy. And yeah, a motion skill, spear one is really great in general, because with one enemy, it automatically applies six stack of destruction to make your, uh, your bet, uh, recovery better. And also, to make it even better, you can always use a set effect, a defiant one, which allows you to ha you, uh, you ha summon a phantom every time you use spear motion skill, and the phantom will also charge, you know, using special skill while you, you are using them, so that really helps with the damage. And apart from that, obviously, you want a fist divine power to increase your crit rate, crit damage, so that is really important. And apart from this, you just have standard set. And uh, yeah, so that would be it today. And I will finish this video by some challenge against Kun Wu, Jian Yi, as well as Flaming Wind. So, surprise, surprise. Actually, I managed to record one with the three mortals. And let's see how it works. And you can see that I am actually using a fifth um, martial skill. This is, of course, to apply stun to the enemy because you need some control for them. And initially start always with super laggy. And it's annoying because you can see again, I have to wait for some time to use another charge of my. Uh, special skill in order to enter this mode. Somehow the six times never counts properly. But once I entered this 
by demon mode, it immediately the spear mortar is gone. They do it run while I'm still in this mode and then right about before I get out of this mode, I charged out and stopped using my special skills and you can see my charging point keeps around at 6. I'm still waiting for around 8 seconds and then I start charging again. 6 times should be using pretty fast. However, again, again you can see that, okay, I can use my laser power again and I'm going to the second round. So in fact, to make it more optimal, I should have used my sword heavenly skill right before that to cut to basically cut the uh, phantoms of this mortal out. And this will basically allows me to deal more damage while I am in the 12 second superman mode. That would already allow me to finish the sword immortal already. However, I didn't do that and now I'm just using this. And it's a bit too late. So it took basically another run. So basically if this is not an optimal three models run, but I think this lets you know that even if I'm not doing optimally, you can still do this quite okay. And if I do everything super optimally, I should finish this in a much shorter time. And actually I made another even bigger mistake, like I first switched off my out into the uh, play demon mode without switching on my laser power at a certain point. So basically I wasted another time. But even though I still managed to finish. So okay. Used, as you can see, used the uh, sword heavenly skill. Now Jane is gone, which is great because out of the three mortals, I realized I've never commented any three mortal video. Maybe it's, that means time. This is time to talk about it. So out of the three mortals, you should always hit him with a spear one first because he does the most damage. You should control him ASAP, using your crush thunder from your eye, using your uh, fist, uh, muscle skill, no matter what way, hitting with him ASAP. And then the next one is always the sword one because he is very annoying. He can control you, stun you. And if you don't kill him, he will continue to stun you. And obviously, after like 12 seconds or 20 seconds ish, dealing with any mortals, they enter this shiny mode that you cannot be controlled. And this is that's the time when it's quite annoying. You can't control them, and they keep on controlling you. And uh, once you finish with uh, Sword Immortal Gen Yi, then you are left with the Lu Ping Wu Huang. And he is always an annoying enemy, as you know, because of the damage limit, as you can see. And also, once he enters his crazy mode, he can do a lot of damage. Sometimes he can literally one-shot you, and this is when Concealed Nirvana is really good, because it makes the uh, King Hua count one-shot you just like that. But sometimes he can still, you know, he can still deal with enemies few times in, and you are in the problem. And by the way, this is the time when I switch on my out without switching on my nether power, so I'm basically wasting this in that room. Anyway, so King Lu Hua is always a problem, and the way to deal with him is always using the Sword Immortal skill, which allows you to deal, break his damage limit shortly, I like what I'm doing now. It itself is also a good damage source as well. So this time I use my Sword Immortal skill before I switch on my laser power and out. Now I switch on laser power, switch on out, I enter the 12 seconds from my mode. And this is the time when I actually use a lot of damage. I know it's not really clear from this uh, HP bomb. This is as bad as you can go. They are just too tanky. Just look at him. He, how much HP does he have? He has 190 million HP. Yeah, so that's just barely below, I think, the final boss of the game, Hang Tian. But yeah, and if, imagine without the the way to break damage limit, you can only deal like 5,000 or 10,000 damage a time and 190 million, that's a crazy amount of hits you need to do. But once you break it, and at in this point I'm not even using for immortal skills, and I still manage to win this fight, even with quite many mistakes. And alright, so that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.